Majesty, Excellencies. More than two weeks ago, the Philippines was battered by Typhoon Goni. And uh, if I must tell you, uh, we are now suffering in the midst of the storm of Typhoon Ulysses. There's uh, great damage and uh, I may not be around to attend uh, further in this regard, for I have to go uh, around and see what I can do for my people. With the timely disaster preparedness measures, we were able to save many lives, but the typhoon left a trail of destruction, infrastructure, and property. This represents a setback of a development agenda particularly in the affected regions. This calamity is yet another stark reminder of the urgency of collective action to combat the effects of climate change. We must further enhance our cooperation on the disaster risk reduction management to reinforce our capacities both at the national and regional levels. More importantly, we must amplify our voices to demand climate change from those most, most responsible for the existential challenge we face today. Developed countries must lead in deep and drastic cuts in carbon emissions. They must act now or it will be too late. Or, if I may say, Adidly, it is too late.